What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today I am bringing you exciting news. We just had the announcement of the Diablo 2 Resurrected beta. It is going to be an early access and an open beta, and let's jump into this article because I am excited to see what all we are going to get. So, play Diablo 2 Resurrected during the early beta access and open beta. War Against Burning Hells is about to enter a new chapter on Windows, Xbox, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, 4, man, just everything. Starting August 13th at 10 a.m. PDT. This is 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern and probably like, I don't know, 7, 6 p.m. in Europe, roughly. Something like that. Longtime fans, new players like will have a chance to participate in the upcoming early access test. Players can take part by pre-purchasing Diablo 2 Resurrected or the Diablo Prime Evil Collection. This one just comes with like Diablo 3 stuff or something. So if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. On Windows PC or eligible consoles. Oh, okay. So consoles are also in this test. Following the early access weekend on August 20th, 10 a.m., the open beta weekend will be open to everyone on a supported platform. See the FAQ for details on how to gain access. We'll read that in a bit. Diablo 2 Resurrected is still in development. Game content discussed in this blog. Not subject, or not final and subject to change. Um, oh, here, they actually give you the times. Perfect. 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 6, 7 in Paris, 8 in Moscow, and uh, sorry to Australia. There you go. And then open beta, it looks like, is going to be the same times, just 8.20 to 8.23. So we've got about 10 days in total, potentially, depending if the early access goes all the way until the 20th or not. Did it say up there? I don't think so. No. Okay. The upcoming test weekends will feature two additional classes for players to experience, the Ferocious Shapeshifting Druid and the Righteous Hammerslinging Paladin. They join the three iconic characters who were part of our previous Alpha Test, Sorceress, Barbarian, and Amazon. So now we have the Druid. This picture seems very stretched. <laughs> Doesn't it? He seems very, like, compressed. Um... Druids, nomadic race, lore, blah, 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 rugged and beautiful, teeming with werewolves, abominations, yada, yada, yada. And then the paladin. Oh, I do love his armor. Paladin looks sick. Gotta, gotta give him that. Druid looks like uh, he's just he's just hanging out, man. He, he, he looks like you tell him not to loiter and he's like, hey, man, I'm just existing. It's like, all right, yeah, that's fair. Uh, Land of the West, Knights of the Faith, blah, 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 more lore. Read it if you like lore. Multiplayer and miscellaneous details. Both test weekends will have, a, will have multiplayer enabled alongside cross progression on Windows, PC, Xbox Series, blah, 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 all the consoles. Up to eight players can play together in one game. Okay, so we are going to have eight player games in the beta. Besides complementary skills that help each other in battle, experience, monster hit points, the quantity of items drop scale upwards as more players join the session. Additionally, players can choose to duel each other or even claim a rival's ear in PvP combat. Hey, yo, who wants to do some beta combat? Let's go. We're going to have some PvP stuff. Probably set up some, like, fun events or tournaments or something. So tune in to the channel, twitch.tv slash MrLMSC, and join my Discord if you want to get in on those PvP events. Lastly, like the technical alpha, both Act 1 and Act 2, the secret of Vizrige, will be fully playable. The fully remade Act 1 and 2 cinematics will also be viewable in the D2 Resurrected Early Access and Open Beta test. Okay, so a little disappointing at the start because I was really hoping that we could go further than like level 35 or whatever. I mean, we will have eight people that we can run tombs with, I guess. But still, it's just going to be so hard to get experience after those, like, levels. So that's a little disappointing because I really wanted to see Act 3, see Act 4, see Act 5. But I guess if they put that in the beta, then, like, that's everything, you know? <laughs> like, we already know what the game is. So they have to keep something not for the beta. But, ugh, we're going to be limited to the to the lower levels again. 
unfortunately. So we also won't get to see, like, Griffin's Eye and some of those, like, high-end items, which I think would have been really cool to see. Grandfather and, you know, all, all the rune words and the just kind of what all that stuff would look like later on. Uh, the fully remade Act 1, 2 Cinemax. Also be oh, yeah. So this part I actually think is dope. I cannot wait to see these uh, resurrected uh, cinematics. So I am super stoked for that. Um, please note for early access, you'll have to have separately pre-ordered for each platform that you wish to play on. But we're PC, so that's easy enough. I like this. Looks cool. Uh, all players who pre-purchased Diablo 2 Resurrected and currently own Diablo 3 will be able to immediate, immediately unlock the Heritage of Ariat, a Diablo 2 themed barbarian transmog set that the Diablo 3 barbarian can wear ooh, for the classic blue war paint look. Anyone who pre-purchased Dia the Diablo Prime Evil Collection can also earn their Mephisto pet and equip the Menacing Hatred's Grasp wing set in Diablo 3. For more details, click there. So there you go. For all you nerds who like Diablo 3, now you got some stuff. Community and feedback. Throughout the technical alpha, the community was incredible in sharing their feedback, bugs, and other insights from their experience throughout that test. Please share your impressions as we continue to polish the game while upholding the authenticity of the original game's design. We welcome you to share your feedback on the official Diablo 2 forums, the Diablo 2 subreddit, or any of Mr. Llama SC's uh, places for feedback, commenting on his videos in his Discord. When Mr. Llama releases a uh, questionnaire, filling that out. All of those are great. I talked um, with uh, the devs, and they were like, yo, we loved it. Like, last time we did a whole questionnaire with all the stuff. What did you like? What did you not like? We sent it over to them, and they were like, this is great. So keep doing that. If you're unable to direct, directly participate in these tests but want to follow the game's development, please keep an eye on Diablo 2 Resurrected live stream www.twitch.tv slash sc on twitch.tv or youtube.com slash mrlamasc. Wow, look at that. They just like linked my stuff right there in their... That's so sweet of them. If you want to learn more about Diablo 2 Resurrected, check out our website here for real, or for real up time updates. Follow our official Twitter at Mr. Lama SC or at Diablo. Thank you, players. See you in hell. Um, cool. How do I take part in the early access beta? Starting Friday, August 13th, um, anybody who has purchased uh, will be able to play. Players will be able to preload the game starting August 11th. And then on console, you download from within your owned game library. How do I take part in the open beta? Starting on August 18th, players will be able to preload the open beta via their Battle.net client. Um, yada, yada, yada. The store pages for the consoles. On August 20th, players will be able to play it then. This open beta is available to anyone in the public who wishes to participate on a supported platform, which is actually cool because we're going to get some big load testing, which could be really nice. Hopefully that can clean stuff up for when we have server launch or season launch, whatever, at the start. Um, how long will it last? Early access weekend runs until August 17th. Oh, so they are shutting it down. So it's going to go 13 to 17. Then the open beta will run 20 to 23. This will allow us to get the right amount of gameplay feedback and client performance data. Reference this time zone converter so I have identify when it will be in your region. Once again, I'll link this, but it had that map up above. Do I need Xbox Live Gold or PlayStation Plus to participate in the open beta? Xbox Live Gold is required to play during early access to the open beta and to access multiplayer features at launch. Xbox Live Gold is not required to play during the open beta on Xbox platforms. Oh, interesting. PlayStation Plus is not required during early access or open beta. Hey, win for PlayStation. But it will be required to access multiplayer features at launch on PlayStation systems. Okay, so if you want the multiplayer stuff. If I'm unable to participate in the early access beta, will I have a chance to participate in a future test? Uh, with the second weekend, yeah, so that's that one. Uh, are test participants permitted to capture a quarter stream? Yes, all players can capture a quarter stream the game throughout the early access and the open beta. Cool. Why is it not available on the Switch? I was actually going to ask this question. 
We are working closely with our platform partners to ensure a successful launch of Diablo 2 Resurrected on all platforms. While the open beta will not be available on the Switch system, the heritage of Ariat Transmog for Diablo 3 is intended to be available as a pre-order incentive to players on the Switch. And when Diablo 2 Resurrected launches across all platforms, uh, it'll be on the Switch as well. This is where you can stay up to date on that. Why are there only five classes playable? Yeah. Uh, it'll launch with five of seven. We are focusing on gameplay testing on five of those classes. Uh, who will be joined by the assassin necromancer? Well, that doesn't really answer it. I guess we are focusing our gameplay testing on five of those classes is the answer. <laughs> um, from what people said, it was like, I don't know, probably how the traps interacted and maybe like all the minions or something. It's my guess some sort of interaction stuff and figuring those out. Maybe it's just the last two characters and they're not quite fully polished off yet. Who knows? Also, they're probably just saving some stuff anyways for, once again, the release, because if they just put everything in the beta, then like, what's the difference? What acts are playable? Um, one and two. Yeah. Why is my character still attacked while at a loading screen? As mentioned in the technical alpha, no, this is still happening. Uh, characters will no longer spawn in a hostile place until the game is fully loaded, preventing characters from getting attacked or harmed during a loading screen. Okay, that's good at least. This fix is not in the build for the early access and open beta, but will be in the game for launch. We didn't want to delay the timing of upcoming tests for this issue. Okay. Wow. So this is actually huge. So... Our characters will still get attacked during loading screens in early access and open beta, but not at launch. But they do say right here, there is characters will no longer spawn a hostile place until the game is fully loaded. But I hope that loading isn't too crazy. Because that was one of the things was like going through town portals. Even like, sure, if you're doing like waypointing around, okay, maybe a little bit, but like, but, you know, but I mean, if you open up Diablo 2 right now and you go between the different acts, between the different, you know, between a, a portal back and forth, all of that stuff, you don't have load screens, right? Like you have a load screen loading into the game and maybe a tiny load screen like with act transfer somewhere. But other than that, it's like instantaneous. So I'm really hoping that on release, even if we're not dying while we're getting hit, that there's still not, like, long load screens because that definitely, like, hurts a little bit. You know, if every single time you go through a portal, it, like, you know, like, tries to do the load. Because even then, like, there's still a delay, right? So it's, like, I'm – normally if I go through, I can immediately click, like, my inventory button to bring up my inventory and bring my cursor over to, like, set a new portal. And, you know, you're, like – bouncing back and forth and all that stuff. But if you're waiting on a delay, then you don't know exactly when you're going to load in. And so it actually still kind of hurts you. So I really hope that that's going to be fixed up even more. I wonder if that's just one of the limitations, though, of all the new graphics and everything that they're doing, which might be a little unfortunate. Um, but, I, I, God, I really hope that that's not a, a big deal. We'll see, I guess, when the game actually launches because we won't see an early access. That's still going to be a thing. Uh, will my progression from the beta carry over to the next test? Uh, it will carry to the open beta, yes. But then after that, no, won't carry to launch. Will I be able to load my classic save files into the early access? Uh, no, not for the betas because this test is online only. At launch, you will be able to load your local offline saves by copying the files in. Um, underlying game engine is exactly the same. You just have to manually do it and then... Will the beta have controller support? Yes, it will. However, this is still under development, so any feedback will be valuable for us during this testing phase. So this is the same as um, early access, and maybe we should do a little bit more controller testing this time around, guys, and I'll try and build some questions for controller um, so we can try and get them some feedback because it seems like they probably just didn't have a ton of people using controller last time. Uh, so looking for more there. Um, what is the regional availability? It'll be available everywhere outside of China, pretty much. Interesting. Um, 
Will D2 resurrected early access open beta test support local languages? Uh, yes. Here's all the supported languages. Nice. Full language support is still a work in progress. Will TCP IP support be available? Uh, it will not be available in the upcoming beta or the final game. Whoa. After careful deliberation, we will no longer be supporting this option as we identified potential security risk and are committed to safeguarding the player experience. Wow. TCP IP now removed from Diablo 2 resurrected. Very interesting. Uh, to be fair, very, very uncommonly used. Um, I mean, when's the last time that you actually did a TCP IP game, if we're going to be honest? Uh, I mean, I think the last time I did was like 14 years ago, maybe, when I was like chilling with my friend at his house and we did it. So pretty much just go online is the, the thought. Um, but interesting to see. And you know what? I, I'm actually okay with it once again. Because it's like, yeah, like, just go on Battle.net for this. That's just gonna, that's just gonna work fine. Um, I know it's, some people will, will be upset about it. But it's, it's such a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction that, of people that actually, like, have touched it. When will Diablo 2 Resurrected be released? Uh, September 23rd. And will it be physical? It's a digital only product. I really hope that they release some like little physical thing that I can just hold. I just want to have a little, a little book or something. Um, we'll see. Minimum requirements: Win 10, blah blah blah. GTX 660. Recommended <laughs> a 1060. Jeez. Um, i5 9600 16 gig ram blah 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 there you go there you go everybody so yeah that's some that's some interesting stuff i gotta say the load screen is still the biggest concern of mine and not getting to see it after beta or in beta also makes it concerning because then there's still the question of what is going to happen in the final launch. So I will promise you guys right now when I sit down and talk with the developers, that is going to be the first question that I'm going to ask. What is this load time stuff looking like? What is the problems that we're running into when we're trying to remove it or fix it or whatever? Are we expecting it to be still a long load? with just the no hostile, but still that like long time, how much faster do we think that can get all of that stuff? Because that is the biggest change I feel like we're really seeing to gameplay is having to load between portals, load between waypoints, load between all of that stuff. And then, and you go back and forth a lot in Diablo two. And I think that's the big issue is you're, you're constantly going back and forth. So that's a lot of time added. If each one of those is a load, um, other than that, I think I'm excited. Beta's coming soon. What, three days from now? Yeah, three days from now for early access beta. So uh, get ready. Get your game faces on. Let's go in. Let's have some fun PvP. Let's have some good testing. Let's try out uh, a little bit more controller stuff. You know, see uh, what we can do with it. Mess around a little bit. And yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in hell. Peace.